I bought a property recently that had been abandoned and neglected for years. This is what the yard looks like after a 30 minute rainstorm. I plan on building a workshop in the back and this can not stand. The workshop is going in next to the back corner of the house, which means if I plan on backing my truck up to it, so I don't have to carry lumber and sheet goods 30 yards to my new workshop, I have to have a driveway meet up with it. That means extending said driveway along the side of the house. Two loads of hard pan is what it took to extend a base layer 20 inches thick back along the side of the house to where my new workshop is going. Now, I didn't lay this hard pan out myself as you see it. The company I hired to remove a huge maple tree behind our house actually laid this out for free as part of the deal we had worked out so he could get his equipment into the backyard. I'm just trying to even out the edges so I get the proper water runoff without it pooling on the driveway. This is 18 yards of crushed limestone with fines. It was not my first choice, but it was all that was in stock at the time. I wanted asphalt millings, but that was not to be had, and I didn't want to wait for the millings to come back in stock. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what's with the shovel and the wheelbarrow? You just had an excavator, why not use that? Well, there's about a two week gap between when the hard pan was laid out and when I had the excavator to when this limestone was delivered. So obviously with the excavator being a rental, it had to go back. A skid steer was part of the budget for this project, but the limestone was about $400 more expensive than millings per truckload. So that meant in order to stay under budget, I had to forego the skid steer rental. Just for reference, it is about 94 degrees at the time that I'm doing this with about 95% humidity. So I'm basically swimming. <laughs> it zaps your energy fast, that is for sure. I'd get about eight wheelbarrows before needing to take a break. I also noticed after the first day or so, my help was few and far between.
If you made it this far into the video, congratulations. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, and I generally have more entertaining videos than this. Also, if this is your first time here, I'm curious why YouTube's algorithm did this to you. Hit the thumbs up button if you find YouTube's algorithm a mystery half the time, because I know I do. Check out some of my more entertaining and informative videos, and until then.